Synthetic plastics all have a starting point of carbon. The properties of a plastic depends on the chemical process of linking chains of monomers to create polymers. For a thermosetting plastics these links are tight together and look like a ridged net. But thermoforming plastics are linked in long chains making them more flexible. So because of the tight ridged polymer net, thermosetting plastics cannot be reshaped using heat. However this gives them a heat resistance quality which makes them suitable for electrical parts and pan handles. They are often cast into shapes from a liquid mix which then hardens. Some examples of thermosetting plastics are melamine, used in camping plates, epoxy resin, a two-part resin used in casting and polyester resin used for making boats. That means that because thermoforming plastics have long-chained polymers, they generally make the bendy types of plastic that aren't resistant to heat. This means they can be reheated and reshaped as over and over. They are easy to recycle by grinding them down into pellets and reforming them. A few examples include polypropylene, used for reusable food containers, nylon for combs and acrylic which is used in baths. Remember to like, share, subscribe and comment below any topics you would like to see in the future.